Hi everyone, we are here in uh, Mandalika in another changing room. Uh, it's the second episode of Get Inside Team Go 11 and uh, race weekend is done. Here are some questions from Ilya and uh, let's see. So Philip, coming from uh, Philip Island, where you close in a very good position, uh, you faced a, a very tough Friday here in Mandalika. What does it change between these two days, two, three days? from Philippine to Mandalika? Yeah, it's two different uh, tracks. Uh, Mandalika, the track changes more or less every practice. Uh, it was very difficult to anticipate what we have to do on the bike. Uh, for example, in the first practice session wasn't too bad. We were ninth, like the first practice in uh, Australia. And I didn't have a very bad feeling, uh, but Friday was, was, was difficult. I think we, we started to make some progress in, in, in the qualifying, but then there was a the problem when uh, Ria uh, destroyed my lap, so we only started from 15th. So uh, all the weekend we, we struggled a little bit, but I think on Sunday we, we could have done better. So focusing on the Super Bowl, uh, we saw you in a really close contact or almost contact with Ria. What happened there? And uh, uh, then did someone came to you to say excuse or something like this? So yeah, of sorry. course, uh, the, the problem was that uh, he closed the throttle in, in a bad situation and uh, I was only 4 tenths back after the first three sectors and I think we could have qualified in, the, in, a, in a much better position, uh, at least one row ahead. Uh, but okay, uh, he came afterwards and apologized, he also got the penalty like everyone else. So I think there is nothing, uh, nothing wrong with it. Uh, we were just a little bit unlucky because uh, the, the first exit I needed some, some laps on the qualifier to understand uh, the potential. And uh, then in the second run I thought, okay, now I can do a good lap and uh, that was destroyed. So Saturday in race one, uh, you had a good pace in all over the circuit overall, but in the last sector uh, we, we lost a, li a little bit too much and you were overtaken by so many riders mm -hmm. over there. What was the problem there? I think mainly the, the confidence was the problem and it was very difficult to identify where the problem was because 15-16 uh, is such a difficult corner. Uh, you have a very long braking uh, phase in, in a lot, with a lot of lean angle and then you, you have to turn even more. And uh, on Saturday I think I made a small step but not, uh, still not enough. Uh, on Sunday the, the step was better. We can say that our weekend uh, started from the Super Bowl race. That was the real first uh, practice in which we were competitive with uh, the top 10. Uh, th there, there was a big mess in the Super Bowl race. Can you describe from the inside? Yeah, uh, the first start in the Super Bowl race was great uh, because I made up four positions uh, because there was a lot of, uh, a lot of crashing, a lot of... Uh, because if you lose the line, it's very difficult to, to come back on the racing line in, in a good way, so you lose places anyway. But uh, to be honest, in the, in the Super Bowl race, uh, I found out that how I can ride the, the, the last sector in a better way. And for the first time I had a, had a good confidence uh, on the circuit, and especially in the last sector. So I was uh, optimistic for, for the race too. Okay, race two was really, really short for us. Uh, we saw you involved in a scary crash with uh, Van der Mark. Uh, can you tell us the moment in which he made the side and how you reacted there and what happened? Yeah, the, the second race, as you said, was quite short, but um, still I had a good feeling. I was, I was right there. Uh, I could see the leader of the race. Um, I felt way better than in the previous exits and uh, in the end it's, it's good to to end with a okay feeling but of course the crash of uh, Van der Mark, he was a little bit offline and uh, to be honest then you cannot do nothing if the bike is in front of you. Uh, I, I, I tried to brake but uh, there was nothing I could do. Um, I'm just happy that I don't uh, injure myself. So. Uh, Compared to last year, um, this track has been tough, uh, but you had two different types of crash. Uh, what are the differences between uh, these two crashes? For example, uh, also in the feeling with the bike, mm. can this type of crash uh, 
modify your feeling with the, with the bike or not? Uh, to be honest, last year was my fault and this year it wasn't my fault because you cannot go somewhere else. Uh, if you crash because you go in the corner too fast or you make a mistake, okay, like last year I made a mistake and I crashed hard, uh, this year wasn't my mistake. So uh, it's, I think, easy to forget about this crash because for me it's not a crash. So that's the second episode of Get Inside Team Girl 11 done. Uh, we've been to Australia and Indonesia now. So uh, two very different um, weekends for us, uh, result-wise. Um, but I think we can be optimistic for, uh, for the next race. Now we have a long break of six weeks and uh, we will start again in uh, end of April in Aachen. And uh, maybe we see each other there.